That seems good. That takes place now, so we don't have to restart the game. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, and welcome to Crusader Kings 3. It's still kind of loud. The setting, the, the music in this game is very loud. I see why it's turned down a little bit, even though it's really good music. I do love it. But welcome, welcome, everyone, to Crusader Kings 3. We tried this once. We technically didn't do much. We just kind of did our own little thing. And I did my own little tutorial that takes place in Ireland. Um, as you can see, my family's doing a brilliant job. <laughs> brilliant job. <laughs> but, um, but welcome, welcome. We're going to be sitting here for a few minutes, let everyone have a chance to join up, as always. I've got everything set up and ready to go for our playthrough on this. I may play around with trying to make this a little bit more, like, dolled up. Because this is one of those games where there's not a lot of animations in it. Other than the characters moving and things in the background and stuff like that. And the characters smacking, the two little dudes smacking each other on the map to represent two armies fighting each other. Even though all of that is just statistic and numbers and stats and types of units. Um, so I don't know if I really actually need to dial this thing back as much as it has been. And I probably will pump it up some for our next stream. Play around with it and see what max scalings I can kind of get. We're not going to do that for this stream though. So this stream is purely just to kind of have some fun with this. Have y'all pick which is why we're going to wait till some people try to jo get to join up tonight if possible. If not, I'll pick a random one and we'll just go with it and see what happens for at least an hour or two. And kind of let the let, let whatever happens, happens. And in ne the next episode of Crusader Kings 3, when we do it, will be a proper episode. Where I'll plan to start earlier, where we can have several hours to kind of dive in. And get an initial, like, start of our family and dynasty and whatever we end up deciding to do. So... I've been wanting to play this for a while. I've played a little bit here on here and there on my own. Watched a lot of it on YouTube. Um, so I'm I'm neither professional nor rookie, but not probably somewhere in the middle. <laughs> like we're not going to be doing the everything to the hardest of T of efficiency. We're going to try to do our best to do that and figure out what's a little bit more efficient here and there. And during this little fun playthrough. And then we'll see what happens on our next one to try to achieve a specific goal of some sort. Who knows? Maybe we'll just let whatever happens here maybe even continue to the next one. Depends on how what happens here and if it's, you know, whatever the fates decide. Remember, if you ain't more inbred than the, uh, than the, <laughs> than the Hemsworths, you ain't playing this game right. <laughs> that's because that's the only way to get pure-blooded, which is... Really messed up, by the way. <laughs> you want pure blood? You gotta go through the ringer of terrible, terrible, terrible chances of bad stuff happening. Terrible, terrible chances of bad stuff happening, but yes. As you can tell, my tutorial family with my Irish family is going brilliantly with uh, one of my members of my family already being completely scarred. <laughs> Crusader Kings is also a very cruel mistress. Not XCOM percentage levels cruel. Sometimes it is. But it's more of just the randomicity. Because it's a role-playing game, and it's a game about role-playing and 
making choices and intrigue and all that kind of stuff and politics of the game and combat's actually probably only 10 to 15 percent of this entire game <laughs> the rest of it's just the choices you make in the way you carry your characters what stats you decide to go with that allows for different choices and it the things the game throws at you randomly because of this just makes it impossible to, to avoid weird sometimes things just happening. It's gonna happen. It's just when and where and will it inconvenience you more or less than, than average? Or will it kill you entirely? And make you have to start playing as a completely different person? Only time will tell. Also, the new Stellaris DLC allows you to become a fallen empire. Ah, nice. Yes, I, I do want to go back to Stellaris at some point as well, but we're going to start up a new one. We're still going to give time for everyone to join. I'm going to let everyone kind of have a choice of when, who we're going to go. Because, like I said, we're letting fate decide when it comes to what we're doing on this. Oh man, look at that. The Iberia in pieces rags to riches fate of England we only have the originals I think I have Iberia in pieces somehow I'm not sure how I have that but um so we could technically do the Iberia crisis and try to worry about Iberia and all that that's one of the choices there's the standard one everyone gets which is fate of England we get Malcolm of Scotland Harold of England William of Normandy and uh, Sven of Denmark and then there's Rags to Riches which this is the one the game recommends you to play because it has the easiest starts among kingdoms including uh, King M Munchard here who starts in Ireland this is the one I'm playing as currently in my tutorial then of course there's the uh, the beast that becomes the beast <laughs> over here in the east over here that uh, well may or may not spell HRE at some point but which you can start as Bohemia to do that you for some reason don't get any of the other choices around this region though there's a lot of choices we can go down here towards uh, Italy <laughs> This is where Iberia would be, but a different timeline. There's also these timelines as well. We can go all of these. Oh, no, we can do this one. Okay, didn't know we could do this one. So, that I want to say, once again, the past is quite amazing for stuff like that. Yeah, because... I don't think I would have had this otherwise. Uh, another Struggles of Iberia. That's the, the DLC Iberia. Ah. Uh, this is the one that lets you start as Alfred of Wessex. Uh. Now, of course, you can play as any ruler and create your own. That's another beautiful thing about this game. Like, we can just literally pick one of the counties start in it and try to rise our name to fame and become a, a, a duke of nobody or du a duchess of nobody great adventurers that's the yeah that's the uh viking one that's one of the ones we can read the vikings and stuff oh, i don't think i've seen that one Carling, West Francia has already been formed here. Interesting. Ah, this is split in half. HRE's in two pieces. And Italy is formed. So this is a much scarier timeline. This is where a lot of the bigger f factions have actually formed. Like, you get their ships, buildings, and everything like you're an Awakened Empire in a game crisis. That does sound fun.
But yeah, those are the different things we can do. This is, of course, further back, but a lot of these. The only one that seems further a lot stronger because it's a much more, like, tailored experience where it starts, like, you get a ton of factions that are already formed that you can start as. Where normally they'd start, where is it? This. They'd start like this. There's no French start in this one. You'd have to go to 1066, I think. Uh, is there? Yeah. If you wanted to take William here, the bastard, you could make him become the king of all of uh, Francia. Turn it into France eventually. West Francia eventually, and then all that. And Harold of Eng England is already formed in this one, which is nice. So is Scotland. Ireland's not. Ireland only gets this one. Nope, not in there. Don't think we get one for Ireland at all, except for that one. I mean, technically, yeah. I mean, I Ivor could technically do that, but he's more than Ireland. It's like Iceland as well, part Viking. HRE was bigger than all three Frankish kingdoms in game. Well, no, this is what they are right here. The, the HRE is this, this, technically some of this if you can get it. But the official HRE only needs this. These two right here, which is split in half. This is the only one I've seen that, by the way. I've never seen any of these other starts with the HRE actually kind of half and half like this automatically. Because Italy's right here. Now, Italy can become a part of that too. HRE can actually absorb Italy and make it a part of it. Bravia can be absorbed into it too. A lot of these right here are part of it. These three seem to be kind of in this, at least in this universe or in this playthrough right here or this timeline. These three seem to be kind of at each other's odds, or maybe they're slightly formed together through alliances. Because normally these are not separate units. Is there any other examples? There's not. I was trying to see an example of proper HRE. No, see, this don't let you start as a miner. None of these do that. What about 1066? You're probably the closest to what this Vic period would have been. But you're just, you're him and you're trying to get all of this. Like all of this. To try to get yourself uh, aligned against West Francia here. It's funny, the French always get boned by the Germans. <laughs> I don't know who I want to play as though. Like I said, we're, this is, might not be our main playthrough. This may end up just being a fun playthrough. Or we're just whatever happens in this playthrough happens, but if anyone ever joins up, uh, if anyone ever joins up uh, more, which you, I'm gonna let you Farseer decide as well, since we might not have anyone else to join up tonight. It might be too late. I was trying to start a little earlier, but things just didn't work out that way today. Wrath of the Northmen. Ah, I see. So we're actually starting, other than Alfred here, we're actually starting as a lot of the Northmen. And you, you're not. I'm well, actually kind of. Is there, isn't that Sweden? Isn't these two Sweden? Yeah, they're Swedish, aren't they? This one I know is. What's up here near Sweden? But who do y'all want? Who do y'all want to see for the fun of it in our beginning start for just this fun little episode? It's our first look at this. I do actually want to try to start down here at some point. I wish you could zoom out and see the whole map and where where this is. Keep it close. I'm near your public. Kingdom of Macron. Wow, Macron's huge. Good. 
So funny, funny. The Iberia is like a Iberia struggle happening down here in the middle of all this, while all this above them is happening. <laughs> So what do y'all think? Do we go Eng do we go somewhere in Iberia? Do we go English, French, Irish, Scottish? One of the German HRE Holy Roman Empire characters. We're gonna say all three because they technically are all three at some point. Especially if you get far enough. It's the East Francia form of the second HRE. They fucked up the formation like the amount of civil wars is ridiculous. I mean, technically that is true too, and that does technically, I think, represent that in this in a way. If you, depending on which timeline and where you are, there's ways to take places and things like that. Like, you can kind of somewhat form historical ways of doing things in this game, but you can also just completely screw it. <laughs> And so it's like, it's like I said, we can go with any, pretty much anybody and just see what happens. See what we, what kind of history we violate, what we go with. And at some point down the line, we can create our own ruler at that house and duchy and maybe form under a county somewhere else under all one of these, like some one of these types of characters somewhere around here. Any of these. This would be kind of hard. I wouldn't do it in this one. This feels like a terrible one to do it in, because all the a lot of the big boys of most. See, look at this. This is the uh, this is what you were kind of talking about right here, East Francia. So this is the one we want. So we want Ludwig. For what you just talked about, we either want Ludwig or the o opposite of that part, L uh, Lothari, of Carling. I imagine Carlman is in this too somehow, but. So it's Ludwig you're talking about that probably is kind of the one that freaked that up then. Play West Francia and rebuild Charlemagne's empire. So that'd be, yeah, you. So Charles the Bald. Do so you want to see what happens with Charles the Bald? Do we want to start that way? Okay, alright, then question then. Now that we know who, do we want to start already as West Francia? Or, in this alternate timeline where all of these are already, like, formed up, he like, hardcore? Or do we want to start, like, this? Like, something, like, crazy, like, small. And work up to trying to build up. That's not going to be do that. Hold on. I got to find ones that all have France in them. No, we don't. There. So either William, we could take Normandy and do it, and rebuild East Francia against uh, Denmark, and technically, what's it called is already right here. Middle got jumped, so you want to go full West Francia, gotcha. This is from what you just said, that's what I can take that is. We want Carlings, we want Charles the Bold, the Carlings. It's funny, because what I do love about this game is... Technically, all of these will be formed, depending on choices, later in the game, even if you start at different times in different places. It's so cool how this game works. But this would guarantee us starting as a whole West Francia. You said middle got jumped, so that would be poor Lothre here. <laughs> poor Lothre. But we're going to be playing just to kind of see what happens. Let's see, look at that. Can you change the course of history or ensure a long and prosperous line of Charles? So, let's read what technically happened. At the time of Charles's birth, his fully grown half-brothers already ruled their own kingdoms within the Carlingian Empire. Without a crown of his own, he became known as the Bald, though eventually did inherit Aquitaine and West Francia in the future. He will inherit Italy and the Holy Roman Empire itself, but his line will not persevere. His last grandson will die childless just seven years after his own death. So, okay. 
So the challenge history, if we were really trying to do this in a serious playthrough, and this may be what we come back to, maybe this is what we should do in our serious playthrough, depending on what everyone voted. I, my original one was going to be more of a crazy playthrough, where I was going to become England, but not England normally. We were literally going to make England, but we were going to change England into a empire of witches. There was going to secretly turn the Pope and the turn the church into a company and coven of witches. <laughs> it was I was going to wage a much different war. <laughs> but we could do this if it does end up being more interesting to do this after we take the if we use this as our first look. So Let's see what happens. Let's go with Charles the Bald and kind of see what happens. We're going to go normal difficulty. We're not going to do Iron Man mode for this. We're just going to save it if we want to keep going with it if we decide to. We're not worried about what's the cause. We're not going to save scum it, though. Like, we're not going to load if I lose a child and go, Oh, no, mysterious circumstances avoided. No. Whatever happens is that whatever happens. Either history fully still claims poor old Charles's bloodline something better happens. But let's see. Charles the Bald. It's already 8.30 and I don't want to wait too, too long to get started, so. Alright, we are paused. West Francia is a hole. So let me check to see if this is working. That is not working. So, DSX doesn't work in game like what's it called does. That's kind of bad. But that does? You know what? We'll go with that because that means my analog stick actually works. Don't know if that's really better than using the what's it called. But, um, okay. So, hey, look, Wessex. Alright, um. So what do I, well, let's look at our alerts first. Available Dynasty Legacy. Let's not do that yet. Lifestyle. I don't know, what are we good at? We're a steward, we're in very much learning and intrigue. So we're these three. Steward, and then it goes learning and intrigue. Mm, what's our money looking like? Twelve. Yeah, it's West Frank, yeah. So I don't think we need steward. Maybe intrigue? Maybe? Maybe I... Maybe I win this by a different ta tactic? Against East Frankia? Yeah? We do have twelve intrigue. Does, 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 does intrigue give me? We want schemer, right? Enables fabricate hook. Find secrets progress faster. Disrupt screen effectiveness plus 50%. Murder schema. So we want, so what do we want over here? We want. Skullduggery Focus, Scheme, Subversion, and Secrets. Well, we know what we named the title of this episode, right? So, Skullduggery Focus. It gives me more intrigue, matching my learning now, pretty much. Agent accepting this is now plus 10. Oh. Okay, good. Um. My heir is unmarried, right, because he never had a child. So, who, 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 Hold on. Let me check my court. Where's my court button at? It's going to be a minute to counsel? Counsel. Not a lot of people like me. Hmm. So I see what might have happened to him. Wow, it's not good to have your marshal not like you. Or your spy master, by the way, big guy. That's not good. You're actually pretty terrible. Hold on. 
You old counties, you're a Dutch. Yeah, you're a Duke. Dutch of Gothia, let's see. How do I get to that? Hold on, I gotta remember. No. Down here. I'm on the south of Aquitaine. So you hate me the least. You. You have a duchy down here. You're the duchy of Gascon. You're Aquitaine. That's not good. That one's probably the worst. So we probably want to make him like us better. We might want him. Does he have any daughters? He has a son or a daughter? Son. Shit. Okay, what about. E Where is he? What about my Marshal? What about Gascon? Can I get someone behind Uncle Tank? Do you have a daughter? Son. Son. Nope. Okay. Poop on that, I guess. Uh, the Pope likes me. Or my bishop, not Pope. My bishop likes me. You have no children. Right? <laughs> Your health is fine. My wife is okay with me. Bishop's okay with me. So, oh, is there a way... We don't want to fabricate claims right now. You're on foreign affairs. Domestic affairs is probably what I want you on right now, then. Because we want to increase vassal opinion. Because we don't want to lose control of West Francia. Speak with the Byzantine. We need that empire to live past 1450. I will. I'm trying to get inner inner workings decided first. So we're gonna go internal. Try to work on vassal hating problems. You're working on organized army, which is raised army maintenance is minus twenty three percent. That's pretty good. Um Garrison size and reinforcement rate is plus forty five percent. This is to increase knightly tough knight's toughness and men at arms toughness. Not right now. You are on domain taxes. Building holdings county changes culture to French. Not French? Hold on. You're French. Why the hell do you not? Why do you disapprove of this? Possible side effects. Resistance to settlers. Loss of county opinion. Not French culture. I don't know if we want culture or accepting this, do we? Or are we trying to go? Question though, do we want to get rid of Do we want to even keep the French thing then? If we're going to do that, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. You disrupt schemes because you might also try to kill me yourself. How much gold do I have? I'm gonna give you a gift. I really don't feel comfortable with you, sir. No. No. Uh, can I do that? Oh, same gift. Same gift. That's quite a lot, but only for only nine opinion. Mm, that's, not, that's not really worth it. I guess it is minus three a year for receive the gift. You're not even that good of a spy, though, my dude. Who's it go to? Your air air doesn't like me either. Just want to see something real quick. 
This is another vassal. Where are you? Oh, you don't have a county. You're nobody. You don't have to land. Yep, I'm landed. Mm. 17, you're landed. Oh, let me, where are you? Let me go to you. Wait, do you not have land either? You have no land either, do you? One title, no? County of... You have a claim on it. But I don't know how... Why won't it take me to this county? There we go. I need to see this county. It's there. Oh, that's super tiny. Yeah, that's not gonna do what I do. Hmm, I need somebody with a lot bigger territory than that to, to appease and get a better spy master. That also isn't trying to immediately kill me. Right now, we might just have to deal with the guy we got. We definitely don't want that one. Don't want a good old Hugo. Okay, so... That's actually a really good marshal. Alright, let's look out sideways real quick then. So... Uh, let's see, where is the Byzantines from here? My brain's not remembering where they are on the map right now. Or have they been already gobbled up? What's that you now? I gotta remember, because kingdoms change names before they become what they're truly meant to become. And I've gotta remember where, where my Byzantine arm... Uh, there they are. Byzantine Empire is. There you are. Do you have a daughter? You do. So maybe. That'd be a weird... But the problem is you're Greek. Do we want that, though? See, that's the thing. There's so many choices, and I love this game for that. But so it does, like, you just gotta go with one. So, do we want to keep French culture, or do we want to drift towards Greek? And go and reabsorbing what the Germans would have been. Roman, Greek, slash, all that. Do we want to reabsorb that culture at the same time destroying West Francia? Or attempt to do that and let the chaos unfold? Or do we want to try to stay French and absorb HRE? Because the Byzantine Empire, unless something crazy happens, their biggest opponent is going to be them. The Abbasids sometimes, sometimes will destroy their faces. I've seen Bulgaria do it, and then this, this all try to form up, but... It, I don't know. Since it's already started, formed in this timeline, I don't think it'll be that in danger right now. And that also depends on if we want Greek to be a part of this. Because we have to accept that if I marry off my, my heir, and if he'll even accept that with an alliance, that means we'll be absorbing Greek back into the house. It won't be French anymore, alone anymore. And we will become a hybrid culture, which I wonder if I, if the past version of this game lets me do hybrid cultures. If it does, that'd be kind of cool then. Maybe that's what we want to do. Ah, you know what, forget it. We're going to go with that. Um, so we're looking for House of Macadon, Basileus, leader of the Byzantine Empire. Because we want my player air. Hey. Find spouse. Is there even an option? Hold on. Let's give you a buff daughter here. I don't think they're an option to marry to right now. I wonder if I can form a natural alliance. I wonder how much he likes me. So we could absorb the middle one, the middle one through marriage. 
Oh no, wait, here we go. Byzantine Empire? Hold on. Is that her? That's her. Never mind, here we go. There she is. It's negative 40. He will accept that, though. He will accept that. Huh. So, I mean, I, I guess that would make sense then. Mary, oh wait, what's this gene? Hold on. Stuttering. Ooh. I mean, that's diplomacy. We're not going to be too di diplomatic in the beginning. We're going to go a little bit aggressive with this playthrough if we're going to go try to reform the HRE through brute, brute force and just basically jamming a square peg in a s circled hole. <laughs> um, so that really probably wouldn't affect me. It's just, do I want this alliance? That is, that is a decent amount of troops. Yeah, uh -huh. hold on one second. That might be what the key to this already. Hold on, so what do you got? 2253. 2862. Just in case Italy gets in this. 26. So the irony is, so 26. 28. To it. So they're a little bit higher than us. Like I think they have them around nine, nine hundred ninety or ninety, around nine thousand something. Where, but if I made an empire, an alliance with the Byzantines, it did take them a minute to get up here though. During a fight, I didn't mean to do that. It take them a minute to get up here though, but that would be almost enough to fight all of this. And if Italy, if we can keep Italy out of it, how many children do I have? <laughs> I have a lot of children, holy crap. <laughs> like, holy crap, I have a lot of children. Damn. <laughs> so, hmm, do we souse our way through this? <laughs> Byzantine Empire was the massive Eastern Roman Empire to play in Attila. Look how much they've fallen. True, but this this game, you never know what's going to happen in this game. But final decision, since since sadly you know, I, I uh, started late and you're kind of the only one here to vote Farseer, it's your choice now then. Do I marry... And luckily it'll be in my house. We don't have to do it matrilineal. So we don't have to give Byzantine over. Do I marry... Um... My son to the Byzantine princess in order to secure a future alliance. We won't need it right out the gate, technically. So we can actually accept the fact that he doesn't have any technically as of age daughters. Because that means the betrothal will start and the alliance will kick in once the marriage comes of age. And that will give us quite a few troops. What We could just get Italy, dude. We could just say screw it and just get Italy and we could just beat them both that way. Because we still outnumber them. <laughs> Because I have more than he does. I have freaking 45, 26 and by myself. For now, that's if we continue to stay stable and don't break the pieces. Because that is kind of what I think is meant to happen to West Francia. It's just my issue comes in now like... I've also got too many holdings, right? So another strategy I could go with... Is... I could go and give some smaller territories. Because you have a claim on what? You have a claim on county. Oh, but you already own all that, though. So you don't have a claim on anything else. Hmm, what about you, sir? Ooh, you have some claims. We're looking for people who are useful that we can make on our side. Because we can replace the council and just war our way through it. And just fight for unification to keep ourselves stable and then punch straight through both sides here. We would instantly have control of this. That would be not in tonight's episode. That would be if we continued this in the future as well. 
I do want to see what happens when we unpause and do everything. Because we could give you... Because you have a claim on... That's a little far away. I don't know if I want to give you that. You have a claim on... Okay, I can just do this. You have a claim on both of these. So wouldn't that be... Why do you have so many odd claims? I forget, how do you look at a... I'm trying to remember all my buttons. I'm trying to look at how you check what a where a duchy can be formed. Is it barony? No. It's just City of Bassar and that. Did, would there have to be a claim created? Hold on, du jour. Right there. Okay, there we go. So hold on. So you are that. Your du jour is this. Your Burgundy. Ah. Okay. So who out of all this would be good for me? That's my bishop. But you don't have claims on that. So I'd have to make you a vassal under... To keep it in my court, you'd have to be a vassal under... Him. His heir doesn't like me. His heir is not much better either. I don't know if I want to give that to you. Who is this? Oh, this is Hugo. We do not want you. No, 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 no. We want to get rid of Hugo for sure. Who are you? You're Ecker. You're not good. You're great at diplomacy, but you look like you, you don't have enough claims for that, sir. A lot of these are scattered. Ooh, you're a good learner. Decent marshal, too. Or de decent prowess or a decent knight. Sure, that's the wrong thing. Yours is bourbon, which is from. No, well, that is the Duchy of Bourbon. You don't own that, do you? No, you do. You own that. What was all of it again? Do you own this? You don't own that. That guy likes me better. Wow. That is a... This good is a... This guy is a teacher. Prince... Oh, it's Prince Luis! Oh, shit! Never mind, that makes sense. Um... Okay. We'll have to see who starts to cause problems and who we, who we need to get rid of. Because I'm not really sure who to grant some of these titles to. Which ones are the ones I own? This one? That, so that one. These are all part of the same county. Same duchy. So I need the duchy, duchy of Orleans under me. These are all part of the Duchy of Orleans. Oh, it actually shows you. I'm, I'm. That's really helpful. So Duchy of Valois. Wow, I own way too many. Oh, there's Burgundy. I own something of Burgundy's. Problem is, I don't want to give that to Hugo. I could piss Hugo off and give it to the Count of Dijon. Give it to my dude here. It would be County of Turinus. You know what? We're gonna experiment. Grant. Wait, how would I grant him this property? Grant one or more 
personally held titles to the count. Would it just be here? How would I do it here? Ah, uh -huh, grant to. Oh, it has to know his name. Hold on. Count Raul of Dijon. I'm just playing around now. So, Count Raul of Dijon. Uh, where is he? Would I have to give him a. Does he not have a title? Uh, opinion of me. He is positive of me. Which not many people are, it turns out. Wow, that's kind of sad. <laughs> there he is, my vassal. Grant titles. Yeah. So that gives Raul another title. That'll grow his holdings, which will fight, put me up a better fight against Hugo. Now I gotta see what other holdings I have. I have too many. I want to keep the Duchy of Orleans. Where's the Duchy of Valois? Yeah, Duchy of Valois. Duchy of Berry. I don't really care about either. Hold on. Give it to this guy that's a knight. I need to figure out who has Barry and who doesn't. I need to go back to I get it to go back to what I had. I need to zoom in is what I need to do. I'm zoomed too far out. So it's called... The County of Barry. And County of the Sword. On. So here... Okay, so that's Hugo. Who are you? Oh, you're also my knight. Okay, so I can give it to my knight. So we want to give it to Count Eudes of Bourbon. <laughs> Count Eudes of Bourbon. Uh, grant to opinion of me. Count EU to Bourbon, grant title. Two more. We're going to give him both of those because it'll make him a strong vassal, but I'm going to probably make him my knight depending on other things. He should be pretty fond of me. We'll see. Um, so he can get that. I might change it later, so that's Barry, so now I need to get the other Barry. County of Visodum. County of Visodum. Um. Yeah, let's give it the same person for now. I'm like I said, I'm experimenting for now. So, opinion of me. Use the button. Yeah, he's plus 94 of me now. Plus, he should help me outnumber. Both these guys should help me outnumber Hugo up here. Also, there's a really good Northern Crusade mod for Banner Lord. Get it and pray they don't get fucked in that one battle that lost them half their empire. 
Well, what's lucky about it is his daughter will come to my empire, I think, if I merit through my son. If I do it matrilineal matrilineally, he'll go over there, which we don't want that. So let's actually, before I forget then, before I forget to do this, Alliance power, there she is. Princess Anastasia, right? Byzantine Empire, yeah. It's, it's Anastasia, I just realized that. Yeah, he'll accept, plus 27. I send proposal. Okay. Plus, the biggest thing is we want an heir. Because the biggest problem that killed West Francia completely in the lore of what it said was that our son didn't have an heir that survived. So we have to make sure we have some sort of heir somewhere from one of our heirs that survives. Which is why I'm going to be marrying off a bunch of them to different places in order to secure alliances and to guarantee survival to maybe come back from the grave if we decide to continue this. So, Dynasty Legacy. What do we probably want first? Mastery of underhanded schemes. I mean, if, hmm, Dread Game would be pretty nice if we're going the opposite uh, rea reality of Frankia becoming back into HRE and taking it back over, or West Frankia. Hmm. Yo, yeah, you choose. House of Warriors, what do y'all want? Yeah, keep France from uh, from forming. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get rid of Hugo. <laughs> Along with many other things. That's why I want to marry into Greek if we're gonna do that. We also... Wait, is Italian Greek as well? I'll have to look. If it is, we kind of want to marry into Italy as well. So we can secure them in a different way. So they don't help uh, the either of the other two. <laughs> Um, so what do you, what do you think we should do, Farseer, for our, uh, dynasty legacy? Warfare, law, guile, blood, uh, erudition, glory, or kin? Does this do again? Okay, that would help with the, uh, non-air part. I will admit that. The bottom one, if we were discussing strategies, if we're trying to keep history from repeating itself and not having an heir in some form or fashion, that probably somewhat guarantees that, but... Italian is Roman. Oh, you know what? That's good. It's right. But then we can get both, right? And if it, I don't think it'll let me, but if we can create a hybrid culture, that would be amazing. You said bottom one? Let's do that. Bounty is loins. <laughs> I love the name of it. Studious, studious youth. Child opinion. Nice. That would actually be pretty good, to be fair. I'm not going to go too hard into it right now. That'll be good for now. The bishop... Bishop... Jean endorses me. So my bishop endorses me. Uh, what claims do I already have? Wow. Wait, is this already pressed? An unpressed claim on just, you know, the HRE. <laughs> We just have this already. Good. All right. Cool. We do have a press claim against East Francia. What would I need to usurp him? I would need 34 of his counties to usurp him. 
So I'd have to start fabricating claims on duchies. Probably be the fastest. Maybe make alliances, get people to slip over, marry and day. It could be done millions of ways in this game. I love it. Um. Do, 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 do. So. Yeah, King Ludwig uh, will lose. Yeah, I don't care about that. He'll lose legitimacy, though, which is fantastic. If I did that. Wow, I can just usurp each one by hand? <laughs> what? Wow, that's... That's actually quite insane. This game is so detailed. We also have a press claim on Italy, technically. But I want to try to marry them and not fight them. Unpressed claim of let the woo! Ooh! Do what? I just have an unpressed claim on all of Lotharingia? Wow. I mean, I don't know what's better. Did you usurp them or just take it from them? I gained way more renown when I usurp them, though. So, actually, I've never realized, I've never asked myself and wondered, what is better in this game to do? It get, I mean, I guess it depends on the scenario, but is it better to usurp a dynasty and just take the kingdoms? We would need 14 of the kingdom. Uh, the counties. Then we could usurp the whole thing from him. And then they would, he'd lose legitimacy. I'd become more legitimate. He'd have rebellions out the wazoo. The rest of the counties would be separated and scattered. Meaning they would never fight together anymore. And be basically just fodder. <laughs> it's the nicest way to put it. Wow. Jump that middle burger with the HRE and betray them later. Could you know what? Here's an idea. Because I don't want East Francia having a piece of this. We want them to stay out of it. Let's, let's worry about Italy real quick. So what do we got here? Do we have... So we've got children. We've got a princess who is rough has rough terrain expertise. She's also a... Damn. Damn, she's on. Damn, I have a martial daughter. Oh, she's already married though. To who? Ah, oh, Flanders. Ah, is that a, that's a part of me? That makes sense. Okay, so we can't do it there. Don't have a daughter there, free. That's a son. What about you? E you're gluttonous, zealous, honest. Ooh, but you have the Midas touch. You're almost a 20 steward. That's... You're also not married, maybe. Um... You are... Ooh, a diplomatic daughter. You are raffle, trusting, vengeful. That is some weird stats for a diplomat. This, this sounds like a di diplomat we have. <laughs> Except for this middle one. <laughs> okay. Another daughter. You're 15. You're the youngest. You're not really good at anything. The irony is I probably want to marry you off if I wasn't trying to lose anything good. <laughs> Sounds terrible. That's how you play Crusader Kings. <laughs> Alright, so let's see something real quick. So who is in my era of succession? So it goes... I forget how to look at this again. I have to look at that, right? Yeah. So it goes... Louis? Actually, Louis, what are you? You're French Catholic, but so am I, aren't I? Yeah. So I'd have to somehow convert our family into... What is Italy? Oh, Italy's Catholic French. So that wouldn't change much there. We would have to absorb. That's way. Why? Yeah, why are you? Oh, it's because the Italian. This is gonna sound stupid. 
the Italian Italy doesn't exist yet. It's still Catholic, it, it, French Italy. HRE Italy. Because Italian Italy's down here. Lombard, Greek, there's a Greek. Oh, Gregoris. Lombard, Barras. More Greek. There's Byzantine. Hey, Byzantine actually has someone right here. So, mm, so that actually is okay then, because that means part of us is going to stay French Catholic for the beginning. What we want to do, though, if that's the case, is probably absorb Greek back in, since we can't... I don't see a Roman. It must have been absorbed, unless the Italian one is considered the Roman one. But the problem with that is, that means the papacy would have to take all of this. It would have to become Italian Italy. It would have to be Italy, Italy. <laughs> what about you? Are you Roman? No, you're Sardinian. Sardinian. Oh, there's more Byzantine. Whoa. Oh, y'all are already at war with you. Okay. What do the Italians think of me? Negative 21. That's better than Byzantine, right? The Byzantines were like higher than that. Yeah, negative 35. So they like me a little better already, at least. I could try to sway you. What's the percentage of this? 39%? Hmm. Do I wanna... Your heir is a daughter! <laughs> now I wonder if I should have married my son to you. But you probably wouldn't have had that, would you? Because then that would make me heir to all of Italy. <laughs> Automatically. And I doubt you would have been okay with that. <laughs> now I kind of want to know what would have happened. Do I have another son? I don't think I have another good son that they'll accept. I doubt. There's my main son, my other son, but King Charles. But he is dead in this timeline, which is sad. So Charles of Aquitaine is dead, or I could have done that if he wasn't married. Or... His wife could have had an accident. Could try you, but I doubt they're going to marry you to their heir. <laughs> hey. You never know, right? Right? Wait. That's not the heir, is it? Hold on. Prince Ermengard. What? No. Did that have a positive? There's no way that had a positive. Hold on. I'm pretty sure that said negative, right? 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 Hold on. Hold on. So, hold on. We're gonna pause for a second. But do we let that happen? We don't want to let that happen, do we? So I want to point out, and I haven't played fully enough of this yet, far enough to see if a lot of my strategies fully play out. This isn't matrilineally. So what does this mean? Does she not be his heir anymore? How does that work? Or do I want to marry matrilineally and then he becomes his heir because he's married to her? Right? Unless he has another son? Right? I, isn't that how that works? If I matrilineal this and and freaking <laughs> do some Loki work from behind the scenes on any heirs that may be born does that mean I get Italy? <laughs> Through my son? And an alliance directly with my son? Hold on. <laughs> Are we already just cheesing the hell out of, it, out of poor West East Francia? <laughs> I feel like East Francia is about to get hella boned. <laughs> this game has so much cheeky cheekiness to it. I love it. I <laughs> don't know if this is just because it's on normal. Do I need to put it on harder? I'm mad. It's always been on normal, I think, so... 
I mean, hell, even if I didn't work, I mean, that's still another 2,600 troops that will come to my aid if I call them to war against the other two. <laughs> Your son can uh, can be a dick and backstab. Not this one. This one's plus 59. And as long as I keep swaying him and make sure he likes me, he would literally become my hidden dagger in, the, in Italy. The irony has actually got some decent intrigue. It's not very high, but it's okay. <laughs> She's only a negative one. She doesn't actually hate him either. That's so strange. I feel like this is a bit too easy. <laughs> that I'm like, something's just wrong. Do it. <laughs> Yo, Tab Game, welcome, welcome. Uh, so should we, what do you think? What do you think the strategy here is? Matrilineal? Make alliance with son if, they, if he becomes king of Italy? But his legitimacy might not be high enough, though. I wonder if that might be a problem. We would have to wait until they're truly married. Like, until they have a child of their own and we've secured that their line actually exists in the Italian house. Because then that would guarantee if I have a reason to continue with that strat or just let it be for the alliance. It's not, no offense to the sun, by the way. This is the beauty of <laughs> Crusader Kings. I mean, I really don't care if we lose the sun, to be fair. So if this don't work, it's not anything bad. <laughs> It'll get me an alliance that will get me 2,600 troops in war. <laughs> so... Only first 10 minutes into the series, we're already plotting the demise of Lotharingia and <laughs> freaking East Frankia. <laughs> You say do it? There's a one print. Wait, we're slightly related? <laughs> Hello. There's a 1.3% chance. They do tell you now. That the <laughs> well, if you ain't, if it ain't, if this mark, if this warning ain't here, you ain't playing Crusader Kings right. <laughs> He will do his part until he outlives uh, his use. Yeah, I'm gonna do matrilineal. We want this for the alliance. We don't want her to come to us. We want them to stay over there and try to play this out. Try to get my bloodline in the Italian house more. All right, matrilineal it is. Be inside the, it'll be, stay within the mother's house in the Italian HRE house. All right, so matrilineal, arrange betrothal for him. With good old Italy. Emory Royal seems about right. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. We're, we're, we're trying to take back HRE as the alternate reality West Francia. Because normally East Francia is the one that f reforms HRE. But we're trying to do alternate reality. F just a little fun stream tonight to show off our first... The first look at Crusader Kings during simulator theme. During simulator theme winks. And we're just playing West Frankia, seeing if we can alter history just a bit. And see if we can be the ones to try to grab HRE instead. So. Okay. What else do I need to do? What else do I need to do? So Italy and the Byzantine Empire are secure for now. All those Frankia kings are, are all sons of Charlemagne. Oh, that's true. I forget about that. <laughs> okay. So, my bishop is good. Let me check council again. So, here comes my next issue. Ah. 
Aquitaine, 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 Aquitaine. That's you, Aquitaine. So, do, 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 do. what do I do want to do about you? I've got a problem here with Duke Romoff and Duke Onso, and Duke Onso is Gaston. So, all of you are lieges to him, aren't you? You are. Uh, 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 uh. Your heir likes me better. I might need to marry some people inside my council to my children to provide a little bit better. So that we would, we, we would want matrilineal on our side. We don't want her going to his house. Do I care about him or do I care about Aquitaine though? Who's got more troops? You have 1345 troops committing. 1359. They're not much different. You are a better... Your stats are terrible. Your stats are actually really savage. Wow. No, we want you. We want to keep you happy. So let's try to keep your heir happy at least. And then I'll try to see if that... I wonder if that would make you... Hopefully that would make you happier by marrying in here. So, oh, he's a hunchback. So let me find a daughter I don't care about. <laughs> Wait, didn't we... We marry... Hold on. Let me... I need to unpause real quick. Because I need to see who I married who. Okay, pause. Alliance form King Luis. I gladly accept. Good. Alliance form Byzantine Empire. Good. Okay. Okay, so now I need to see. Okay, you don't have. You're my terrible daughter. That sounds bad. So you, I can marry down to that other guy. Okay, so. We were, we are looking for Garti, Garcia Antez, Antez, Garcia Antez, Garcia Antez, Garcia Antez, Garcia Antez, there he is, Garcia Antez, uh, matrilineal, will you accept? No! Well, I don't like this daughter anyway, so... <laughs> So, I need to secure some friendships. Well, we're not going to survive this very long. Alliance form. That'll keep him out of any factions that will rise up against me. And he's an amazing, an amazing marshal, so... Okay, that's good. Let's see. It would be awesome if they'd done a feudal Japan version of this game. I wonder if there's a mod for that. Yeah, actually, I'll look for that. This is... Paradox does allow quite a lot of modding. There's already a plague. Oh, no, that's impassable terrain. It freaked me out. Actually, I don't know if we can look at plagues right now. I don't think there are any. Oh, let me go through all my buttons real quick. Yeah, this is where that problem's gonna come in. Hold on. Technically, apparently, I can use... Huh. Oh, there's like a hidden cursor. Oh, that's weird. Why does it not show the cursor? So apparently there's a way to play this with controller. I don't know how to get the menu out, though. <laughs> the menus don't seem to work very well, though. So no button works except X and <laughs> the analog stick. 
weird. Okay, anyways. Just seeing if that's how that works. DSX and Xbox don't communicate very well unless it's already a console game. Which this is on console, so I don't know what the console buttons are. To be fair. Maybe it's all the D-pad buttons and I mess it up. Because there's no cursor in there, should be. Uh, okay, so... That's giving you an alliance. You, I... I might as well pay you a gift. Because we're not going to be able to marry you right now to somebody. Oh, wait, I could sway you. Hold on, wait a minute. What is it looking like to sway you? 64%. We don't want our spy master disliking us. That just seems terrible. <laughs> we need him to help us do some stabby stabby later in anyways. Um, we'll sway our spy master because he's only a negative six. Aquitaine, you're my other th pain in the butt. You also have a son who's unmarried. Do I have any daughters left that are not useful to me? Piddle guard. Sure. What is your son's name? Ramolf de Potier. Potier. I'm probably saying all these names wrong. Uh, no, you're actually really good. No, 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 no. no. You. So, yeah, we want. Oh! We couldn't marry her to one of his vassals. Can't marry your son, apparently, huh? Who are you? You are... Ten, sixteen. You're a good learner. Ooh, you're a stabby man. Um, mm, that might be a better spy master for the future if we lose our current one. You have. Oh my God, you have elusive shadow, dear God. <laughs> Ooh, maybe you. Yeah, we want some stabby children. Oh my God, there's a three percent chance. Well, oh, and we can do a matrilineal. Yes. Yes, beautiful. Yes. Let's just get real weird with it. <laughs> Secure the alliances. Ah, uh, they must not be doing pre-orders on console. So maybe that's why it's not fully working with a controller. Oh, Lords of Manor. Yeah, Manor Lords. Yeah, they're not doing a pre-order here either. Not that I can see. It, Manor Lords has been weird by that. But... I do wish that worked. I think what else I need to do. We've secured some more alliances. What are you doing right now? You're giving me piety, Catholic, theoretic, ruler opinion. Do we need to fabricate a claim? I don't think we do. We have mo we have all a claim on entire of Lotharangia. Lotharangia. Depends on if we want to go after Brittany at some point. I don't think we should do that in the beginning. I don't want to piss off Engl what will be England eventually. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs>
Must be the first that a publisher hasn't put up a pre-order as long as it's out day one. I'm happy. That's true. That is kind of strange. I do agree with you. That was that is kind of odd. But all right. Any more suggestions for strategies before we roll out literally and see what happens when I unpause this game? And should we go up? We probably shouldn't form a war just yet, should we? Oh wait, that's what I wanted to check. Uh, I need to that. So we we want all the good ones. Yep, we want Enzo fighting. He's the guy we made an alliance with. Also, if he dies, it's no no. Even though he's a good marshal and really good prowess, that won't hurt my feelings. Um, because then I can give the county to someone who likes me better. <laughs> um. We have a guess. It could be a 12. Doesn't say how much I'd employ this guy for. We don't have a lot of good ones. You're a 10. I don't think that's a good idea. How many do we need? We need 9. Ooh. Don't have a lot of choices. I'm looking for my children to make sure they're not in there. Nope. Forbid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't want anyone in my court in there either. Forbid. To be fair, none of these are good. Anything in a six and below is kind of crap. It's not going to do us any good. So. Although. You're, well, you're a great steward, though. Oh, he's one of the minority of the state. Oh, because he's Dutch. He's a uh, he's he's one of the smaller cultures in our place. No, we don't want that. We actually don't want to mess. We don't want him to die necessarily right now, unless he starts being weird and uppity. Yeah, I know these are good. These aren't gonna help us win anything. Oh well, no, hold on. Force. You're going in the front. <laughs> Do, Hugo, I, I hate to tell you this, but I'm putting you on the front lines. <laughs> You're going out there, along with Ramal's here. Even though he is decent, Ramal's going out there too. I kind of want Rob off to die as well, but hold on. Is his son? We want him to be married, right? First. Mm, we'll see what happens. I'll allow it, but I won't force it like I am with uh, Hugo. I think that's going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and spend some money and recruit this guy. How much? 20? Yes. Gains 50 opinion of it. Yes, through the court. Get us uh, some much nastier knights. Right out the gate. Ah, we have to station our men at arms too. So we've got some armed footmen. Uh, they're all the same. There. Uh, honor. We've got honor goods already. Wow. These are all the same as well. We'll station them back here for safety deeper into the territory. Um, 
Light Horseman. Ooh, hold up, there's a point, there's a 4.4. Right there. Okay. More Man at Arms station. Ooh, a 6.4 for you there as well, but I really want my cavalry to be a lot better, so. I want to embrace the old German knife philosophy, so there. I don't think there's a reason to increase our number of men right now. We already outnumber majority of everybody size-wise. You can go up one more size. I'm gonna make you size three. And spend money on that now. I think we're good there. Let's see. Using your family and people like commodities is like a true king. <laughs> Be right back, Arna. Simple. Be south south. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Be right back, Arna. All right, Fazir. Yes, we're doing like if you if there isn't at least a percentage of this is a terrible thing to say, and I mean this as a joke and only in game YouTube. They don't like this game for some reason. YouTube's really finicky about this game, and I kind of get why to a certain extent. But unless it says about 3% chance of having an inbred child, you are doing this game right. <laughs> also, if you aren't selling off the daughters and sons who are not your heirs as basically marriage proposals to make alliances with people you need to punch other people with, then also not doing it right. And... How I like to play, because I'm very Loki. I'm very much of a Loki. As you can see, I love the stappy stab. I've got an intrigue. I'm already building good old Charles the Bald here into a, a shadowy kind of guy who likes to do things from behind the scenes. <laughs> Mostly because of what I have planned for Italy. Because I'm going to take Lotharingia, Lotharingia myself, East Francia, I'm going to rip apart and usurp. Italy, I'm going to absorb. <laughs> but that depends on if we continue this one, too. There's millions of king, like starts we could do in this game. This is more of a first look tonight to just have fun with it. Which we're going to let time unfold for a little... Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't... Oh yeah, above domain limit. I already know that. Oh, I can do another Dynasty Legacy. Well, let's... Let's dip hardcore into this, then. Because that means my children love us now. So that means my children will be very much useful to me in my schemes. Look at that! Look at that, that is beautiful. This is a family of Lokis. <laughs> All right. The French were always good at espionage. <laughs> and what we got here, we got... Oh, we do not have a court, court physician. How do I search for court physician? That's a decision, isn't it? Hold on. Decisions. How expensive is it to search for poor precision? Uh, we'll take it. Start search. Alright, we're gonna be looking for that. Realm will be lost. Uh, so, Realm will lose land if vassals die. So, who? Ah, because your liege is you and your Lothario. Ah! Lothario. Oh my god, but Lothario's heir is Italy? And Italy's heir is about to be mine? Wait a minute, hold on a second. <laughs> so, that might not matter to us. Where are you, by the way? Hold on. 
It's this county. Is it just that county? Really, I don't care. What about you? It's these two counties. Well, is it? Show that on the map when I look at that. Too bad you can't, like... Is there a way to... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's cool. I love this game's intuitive menus, too. I can just actually bring him up, highlight this, and see where it is. So if I want to look at this one... That's not what I wanted. I want to look at this one. I just let it come up. Go over here, let this come up. So it's these two. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually okay with that because what's going to be happening? You can transfer Count Jeffrey of Theodore's to Duke Romerald of Aquitaine. I really don't know if I want to do that. Mm. Oh, there's already a proposal being considered. Your powerful vassal, Duke Hugo, expects a council position. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I uh, just thought that was funny. You can declare wars! Yeah, we can. Alright, titles can be created. Oh, wow. We don't want to do that right now. Family members, that's going to change. Children like guardians. Uh, what are you again? You're not that great. Um. So you are impatient, arrogant, content, and charming. Your mother is ambitious. Oh, yeah, your mother is not the one to train you. I guess me. It's weird that you don't have to be your own child's guardian in this time, during this era. You need one to your... Wow, what is all these content and just and charming ones? Ooh, high stewardship though, hold up, no, no. That your sister can raise you and teach you how to be a better steward. That's strange, I'll just teach you myself as well. This is gonna be really stressful to my character. Negotiate alliances. Oh, yes, do that. With my son, yes. Prince Luis. With my nephew. You do have a lot of troops. Yes, sir. could technically make friends with Ludwig, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> Count Rudolf? Ooh, we're on the damn negative 120. Who the hell? You're the County of Guinness. You're the one that might break off from me. That's actually okay, to be fair. Your primary heir is... You, which is the Liege of Italy. Ah... That's why. So we'd have to conquer those back. Okay. So you're not going to accept that. Hmm, maybe. Do I have a hook on you? I do not. Hmm. 
his liege. Ooh, his liege is a part of. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Let me come back to you, sir. You have. Two. S no, I don't know who that is. That's your spy master. He's also your child, apparently. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, you got some good sets there, big guy. You're the better one. So we want Ragnar. Ragnar Gizelbert. County of Barabent. Ragnar Gizabert. Gizabert. Let's see if we can cheat this. Uh, you still haven't been married off. You have. You haven't. Try you first. Ragnar of. Gizabert. Ragnar, Ragnar. I don't think he's going to be a choice. Ragnar, Isabel, Ragnar, Isabel. Ragnar, Ragnar, Ragnar. Wait. You're from Potential Alliance of the County of Carton. So that would be there. That's not that good. It would keep some allies out of East Frankie. Hmm. Cause we've gotta see who is I've gotta think about who his vassals and allies are too. And it would keep them out of the alliance. You're Franconian. Mm -hmm. You're Franconian. Interesting. Yo, Chronic Gaming! Welcome, welcome to Crusader Kings 3. Uh, we're a kingdom simulator where you gotta run your kingdom and marry off your daughters and sons to the allies you want to win your wars, <laughs> along with many other things. Basically old medieval tricks era type things. I'm not sure if I want to do that, though. It's not who we're after. Huh, <laughs> Ludwig, no. Hmm, that gets down there. But you don't have, yeah, you're not related to this battle. You would just get me some random troops is all you'd get me. Mm. I don't know if we've got any that are good. Wait, that's Flanders, but we already have Flanders. I wonder if we have a strong enough... Wait, is that his heir? Do we have a strong enough alliance with Flanders is the question. Yeah, they have diplomacy alliance with me through marriage between... Yeah. It's you, isn't it? my Byzantine. I gotta figure out where my marriage alliance for that is. There it is. Oh, it's to the... To, wait a minute. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Isn't that the leader of freaking Flanders? It is! 
What is that, Charles Child? How do you see who his parents are? Oh my god! Was that matrilineal? It wasn't, was it? But that's that's fine though, actually. Oh my god! So your heir <laughs> is my grandchild. Sir, you're in trouble. <laughs> Especially if mom lives long enough. So wait a minute. That'd make you his regent, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 34% to 49%. Because if I can gain control of Flanders as a whole, that means they no longer can take these. <laughs> I'm finding all kinds of South out ways to try to stop this. Let's see. Educate child. Uh, I don't know. And I couldn't find who I wanted to marry off my daughter to. And the good one. Uh, 1900, you're way over there though. You don't do me any good. You don't do me any good. That makes an alliance with Gothia. Hmm. That makes an alliance with my. I technically could be a marshal, but is currently my entry guy for some reason. You actually might be a better stu- What is my current steward? Isn't it Hugo or somebody? I might switch you to that, big guy. Switch you to steward and give someone else spy master? That might be a good idea. That way he doesn't hate me. Um... An alliance would be with you would be pretty smart probably as well, just to guarantee it. This would pull in my max amount of troops. We already have an alliance with you. Killenberg? Oh. Will you accept that? Probably not matrilineally, I assume. Hey, yeah, I didn't think so. Huh. I don't think I want to do that, though, because I don't know if that keeps him from joining in on the war with this Frankie. Does, is that how that works, I wonder? If we do that and that keeps him from joining in, that's 1,200 troops already removed from his number. And once again, this is one of my daughters that's not really got good stats, so we could have, we could marry her off just to get some good stats from another kingdom. More Franconians. To get the Franconian culture going. I just don't remember if this counts or not. Does this mean if I do this, he can't help him? I don't remember. I don't remember. This is the problem. Oh, I didn't mean to see your family tree. Brave it. Right, I was either trying to sir I probably shouldn't worry about circumventing Frankia right now. We wanted to get you, but you you weren't on the list. County of Bravent. I always get the wrong one. Just a 
for that flag. because they're not that strong of a county. Because it's more for a different purpose for me. Yeah, I don't see it. No, let's just go with the top. Let's see what other alliances we can make. We want to be as strong as possible for this war. Fifteen prowess, one eleven. Oh wow, your heir is actually way worse. My daughter. And I mean, if I was gonna do that, I'd want to marry for stats. So let me switch. Here. Let me switch to the other one. This one. That gets me, it looks like more powerful alliances. Wow, that gets me an alliance all the way up in Scotland. <laughs> oh girl, what are you doing? That's Gothia again. That's Gascon again. He keeps coming back to Killenberg. Because of their amount of troops. We could take... We could use that alliance as a small alliance to help with Lothring Lothringia. That's within... Oh, who are you? Oh, you're part of the Byzantine Empire. We already have that. That gives us Basque. That goes all the way down to the Iberia struggle. Does Hugo's heir hate me? Count of Wealth. No Dutchy titles in person. So that's part of the Dutchy of Osberg, where's that? Wait, what? Oh, it's way over there. Huh. County of Zurich. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Let me do that. Let 
Okay. I think our best bet is to take some troops away from East Francia and just kind of use that to our advantage of invasion. Plus, don't you have some good stats? You do. Between the two of them, that's going to get a really nasty steward. Plus, you have... Charismatic Negotiator, he has... Ooh, that's actually a pretty decent combination. Not great. So we'll either get a Diplomat out of that marriage or a... Uh, what's it called? That's directly to him, too. He probably won't accept Matrilineal, though. Uh, that's the only problem. Do I want to give my better daughter a way to that? I don't know if I want to do that. No, not if it's not going to be matched with any other. It doesn't do me any good. So let's do with the weaker the daughter that doesn't have as good as stats. And we'll see if we can get that same one. There he is. Count Warner. Yeah, he'll do it less, but he'll still do it because it's on his side and it's not matrilineal. Let's do that. Secure an alliance inside of West Francia. Who's left? So that's my good one now, but that... I need to give you someone who's actually going to give you good stats. So now, for you, my daughter, you're going to get... Is there, where's Inheritable? How do I do... Toggle filters, here we go. I want... I gotta find it. I don't know where it is. Traits? Ah, there we go. Inheritable traits. So, we can get... Quick. Beautiful! Who are you? Oh! You're not... Oh, wow. Poor dude. To be fair, though, that means that I'd definitely be... always oh, intrigue! Sir, you just won yourself a marriage. A matrilineal one, of course. Your children will be of my house. But still, you just won yourself a marriage to a very powerful brother and daughter. <laughs> Who will hopefully will give birth to children with the beautiful trait. Noise, noise, matrilineal, boom. All right. Oh man, all, I think all the harder stuff. What else can we do here? You don't like me right now. Which, yeah, you're not my bishop. That's Ludwig Stewart. I'm trying to see who is willing to... Let's get rid of the ones who aren't. Don't want Lothran run anyways. Gillsbird, I already have you marked. So I'll come back to you. Uh, Duke. That's pretty far away. I don't really care about that. That was, uh, Duke Unrock. Count Oberdod. You're indecent. How many troops do you have? Nah, no. You're not worth it. That's Ludwig himself. We don't want that for sure. Or it might be Ludwig... Oh no, that's Ludwig. Ludwig's son. Which, 
there would be there is another cheesy way we could have done this but and properly properly secure both sides um but yeah we definitely uh, you know what I'll pin you Ludwig just in case things change um who pulled? You're just a county though. You're that one that's gonna get absolutely wrecked. <laughs> I can't do nothing about that, so no. Don't care about you either. So this is with you. This is with Charles. Uh. Hmm, the Duchy of Swabia. You almost will accept, holy crud. Hold on. Can we send you a gift? You will accept. Send him a gift. Will he do it now? He will do it! Yes! <laughs> We're making alliances with people inside of my enemy's territory. This is so messed up. <laughs> Your brother and rival. No, we don't care about you. Yeah, negative 146, sure. Alright, current situation. You can transfer, count you off. Right. But would that improve relations with Aquitaine? It does. Mmm. Hmm. He's considering a proposal from me right now, isn't he? Yeah. Once he's done that, I'm gonna do that. I think I will try that, even though that's dangerous. Just so we can see if uh, that'll help with relations. It is gonna gain 40, so he'll go down to negative 16, which is far work, far better than what it is. Let's unpause. Alliance formed. So he already did that. So we got the alliance with Duke Ramon. Now let's go and give him his vassal. Since he accepted Grant Vassal. That made him plus nine now. Oh, I'm not going to worry about titles. Can be created. War. Yep. Yeah. Who? Oh. Yeah. Apparently, I have a claim on Ma uh, Montiego. Okay. Strange. Claim on you or you? What where the heck are you? What the? I don't need that right now. Although that would be cool, but I don't know. We're not going that direction. There's so many ways you can go in this game. Uh, Leon, yeah, that makes sense. Because we can go for Brit Leon to Brittany. Because Leon is technically a part of Francia. So, hmm, okay. I can rage war against the Sultan? I, I can just take all of, really. That's actually not a hard fight. That is kind of sad. They have better quality troops than we do, though. Their military strength is vastly inferior. But... They have better quality troops for the moment. Interesting. So I assume that war is just for Lotharangia? It is. My clans. Wow. 
So we should save it here just in case we want to do this. Hold on. Alright. Oh, we have one more daughter to marry off. Okay, what is your stats? You're my other steward. Let's give you also inheritable traits, because I don't think we can get any more alliances that are worth a darn. Let's look. Well, we can try to go for both. Who are you? Another Gothia alliance? You would give them quick? Oh, that's way too far away. Let's go with, uh, relevance. Ooh, intelligent. Mm, ooh, what? Ooh, robust. That was almost Herculean. Who are you? Ooh! You only have 68 troops, though, my dude. Oh, you're unborn. You're unlanded, is why. No one with Leon, was there? No. Huh. Oops. Nope. I guess... Do we have any Herculeans or any crazy... That wall Is that Herculean? It is. Okay. That's Franconian. Hello. Hello there. Will you accept a matrilineal marriage? You will. You will. This is eating up my prestige, but to be fair, the beginning of this game is going to matter the most later for our setup, if we decide to continue this. Herculean is really good for an aggressive titan later on. And we're trying to go across the board in different ways. You know what? We're going to do that. This daughter is going to get the privilege of having traits into the family instead of having to be alliance. Your acquaintance, yeah, your acquaintance, you guys are a married princess. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, pause for a second. Alliance formed. Marvelous news. Oh, what? I'm honored to be by your request, and I would be glad to call you an ally. Yep, alliance formed with my son. Uh, alliance formed. Wow, here we go. All of the uh, stuff is coming in. There it is. Yeah. Oh, core physician. Let's see. Make sure it's paused. Okay. Whoa. You're a mystic? Charismatic negotiator. That's not really good for a doctor, though. But you're also a... No well, you're a novice physician. So that's not as good. But still, wow. That's not, I've never seen a mystic before. As a physician. Kinda of want you, sir. What's your name, Matuya? Okay, so let's check out all of them. Aladere, poet, nun, astute, it's a battle sister. She hasn't got the stats we need though. Ooh, we might have a winner. As much as I want a mystic, this lady right here is real. Oh my god, she's also hail. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so what's your name? Gerbera. Gerbera, 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 Gerbera is widely known. Is she my court physician now? Let's check. 
I gotta see. I'll eventually learn all of these buttons. There we go. Yep, core physician. Nice. She is excellent. Beautiful. Okay, so what are you currently doing? Regular duties. I can control plagues. There's no plagues right now. Advanced research. Monthly lifestyle experience plus 10%. Nice. Uh, monthly piety. Piety is kind of weak. Um, work on piety for me, for now. Okay, what else can we do? Disable building and count Valores, why? Building is disabled because holding disabled building to avoid the penalties of being in the domain limit, above domain limit, will re-enable re in 11 months or when no longer above domain limit, huh? Because we still have too many holdings. But the problem with that is... All of them are within my duchies. Yeah. All of these are Valois. I could create more duchies. Wait, these titles haven't been created, have they? Hold on, wait. If I create... I'm, this is me experimenting and learning this game. So, where is it? Duchy of Orleans. How much prestige do I have? Or legitimacy? Not great. Not great to be there. We're expected to be at four. Ooh, that's not great. Might need to hold some stuff to get us some legitimacy. So we're gonna have to be over domain holdings for a while in that aspect then. Cause I can't remember if legitimacy is affected by domain holdings. Like will I have better legitimacy by allowing that to happen? That's fine. Potential... Mm -hmm. No, we're never gonna get that, guys. Negative 156. Set gift, marriage acceptance. Good, 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 good. Oh, is it right-click to dismiss all? Yeah. Okay, so it pauses automatically. So, Italy's calling me to war against this guy. Oh, that makes sense. So, you're an 18, and how do we, how do I tell who's advantage on this war? I'll accept, just because that might help with legitimacy, having this war. We don't have anything else to do. I accept it, Lee. I'm trying to be your friend anyways, but we're gonna keep it paused. Um, now I gotta figure out waypoints. Hold on. Uh, we gotta get to Italy quickly, so probably down here, across the river. So let's create... How do I select it? Move rally point. To here for now. Um, okay. Alright. Raise lo so local levies is 3,757. I don't think we're gonna need more than that to send to help him. How many allies you got? I don't see any allies in this war. Let's see. I'm in this war for him. He has no allies. Okay. He's got max. Technically, Italy can win this on their own, I think. But let me see. Mm, 
that depends on if he calls anybody or not, to be fair. Yeah, we'll go help him. Um... Doesn't so men at arms would be 910. Raise all would be 300, 3,000 to 900 plus. And just raise local army. Oh, there's a disease. Oh, the phone. We've got some plagues. Plague? Plague? Where are you, plague? Show me the plague. Oh! What? It's in my territory. Hi, yeah. Uh, West Frankian coughs. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh. Why well, can't I isolate capital? There it is. Isolate capital? How far away from the capital is it? Uh, let me see. It's there. Capital's here. I do like it actually shows that. It's not very easy to see that that's your capital flag, but... Uh, if it spreads a little further, I'm going to isolate the capital. Let me go to my physician, however. And put you on control plagues. The plague has started. And then you, all of you, are going to... Come to this territory, merge up here, and then we're gonna head over to Italy. Alright. Let's merge them. We don't need a, a secondary army. And let's just sell around and uh, help hit the capital for them. We'll only suffer 230 casualties. Doesn't seem to be a better way to get there. It looks like Italy might win that. At least they'll weaken them before we get there, so. Raise the armies. Trust me, AI be spamming levies. Yeah, but they, don't, they only have 1,800. It's fine. I've seen, I've, uh, like I said, I've learned some strategies from watching a certain lion play this a, a lot. He plays this a lot. He's like, he'd be a master compared to me as a novice. <laughs> but, levies should be enough. This isn't our fight. Levies are easy to replace. Men at arms take a while to replenish and take money to replenish. They're also expensive to maintain when you raise them compared to levies. We're only negative 1.1. Whereas if I had raised my man at arms, it'd probably be closer to negative eight, to negative ten. I'm it with since this is not technically our fight fully. This is just Italy trying to expand, which I'm fine with that. So I want them to do that. This is just me sending some reserves to back them up. Essentially, but. Don't die like a certain William the Bastard. The dude got his balls crushed on horseback. And that killed him. Oh, wait. Who's leading the army? Let me check. Now, who is leading my army? Burnett. Burnett, too, of Gothia. I don't know if you're the best commander, sir. Uh, you're not that good prowess. Okay, so technically who I should have as my commander is Duke Anton, uh, Anso here. The terrible, because he's a frickin' 27 prowess. He is an absolute monster. Kinda want, though. Where are you? Yeah, see, he's opted out. 
Where are you? Didn't I force you to be able to be chosen? I could. We could use this as an opportunity since we're not wasting any man at arms. We're just wa raising local levies. Or raising local army. We won't raise too much in this. Maybe we should put Hugo in charge of the army and hope he has an accident. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, chat? Vote now. Put an actual knight in charge to win this guaranteed? Or do we put Hugo in charge and hope he falls off his horse? <laughs> like I said, South South strategies up in this bitch. <laughs> Which we are starting to run out of time. We're not going to get too much done, sadly, tonight. I didn't expect to. This game is long-winded. It very much is. It would take us probably a whole series to do anything really with it. That's why it's going to be in a part of uh, simulator theme regularly as it comes up. So, Hugo, it's been nice knowing you. All right, Hugo it is. Hugo, good luck! <laughs> Don't fall off your horse, or don't have, don't be a William, and you'll get to come back and still torment me. <laughs> All right, we're going to unpause and let our army make its journey while I let. Oh wait, hold on, we got decisions up here. What's happening? Oh yeah, enter seclusion. Uh, let's see what happens with the plague first. I've got my physician on it, so. Army is on its way. First army of Montpelier. They're gonna head now. We're hot. We're on our way, Italy. Italy's probably gonna win this without me. This is pretty much proliferous. Uh oh. It's still just in this region over here at the moment. Okay. Mm it's minor, so it's not like I'm really truly, truly worried about it right now, but I'm just keep, let's keep an eye on that because that's... Oh, oh, I joined the war, yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna win that. I don't think I even need to be a part of this, but I'm gonna come down here to show that West Francia, or yeah, that West Francia supports Italy where East Francia does not. <laughs> this will help us win. We're only gonna lose 200 troops out of this because we, it'll be a casualty to go across the territory. But we're gonna come help them siege, siege the capital. Oh, it's spreading. I'm gonna have to probably isolate the capital. Yeah, seems like we're going in there. Yeah. Oh, attacking. Okay, so let's go control this plague. Oh yeah, no, no, no. See, now I'm getting a little worried about its spreading ability. It's only killed two people, but... This game is hardcore when it comes to stuff like that, so we're just gonna, we're, I'm not gonna enter seclusion quite yet, but I am gonna isolate the capital. It doesn't tell me what this does. Oh, it does increase, okay, that's fine. Let's isolate the capital. Oh, there it is. This is going to, this just control the climb, but we get resistance, so isolate capital. We'll start with that. I'm not going to enter seclusion quite yet because we're going to try to just keep it out of the capital first. Because it's less of a... It's, it's pretty nasty when you have to go into seclusion for your character. Alright, now we're sieging. It's spreading fast. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
plagues are scary in this game. They should be. But damn, plagues are scary. Oh. We'll continue the siege. They have another army coming. They're coming to us. That is stupidity at its finest. We win this. This is... What the hell? You go right ahead and fight my troops. Go right ahead. You did great. You did great, Bari. You did great. You won. You won. You did it. And there it is. Alright. Time to enforce demands. I don't know if I can do this. Can I do this or do they have to do this? Uh, they have to. Alright, well. I guess now it's just... Let's just take other stuff that belongs to them for now. We'll disband all in a minute. I'll take one more just to guarantee it. They'll probably end the war and then we can disband. Yep, there it is. So be a victory. Disband all. And just like that. <laughs> just like that. I bet you like me more now, don't you? Oh, yeah. I bet. I bet you like me more now. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. And what's great about this is... Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to love this. We might continue this. I wanted to do like a turn England into a, a, a coven of witches. <laughs> but this might be just as fun. <laughs> it might be just as fun to dupe Italy by absorbing them. Absolutely just erase Lothringia. La Lothringia and just completely usurp West Francia. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Plague definitely started in the... Uh... In the in the wet in the wet market, not in the medieval bio. Lab. <laughs> oh man, totally not in the medieval bio lab at all. Remember to implement a six foot gap between everyone in the taverns and brothels. <laughs> yeah, that's that's hard, man. That's why we isolated the capital. It's like, hey, sir, you need to you need to put your your medieval century mask on, which is just a plate helmet, <laughs> to keep from spreading the virus. <laughs> I just hate that it started in my territory. Of course, a uh, plague started while I was at war. Luckily, it was a short and sweet war for Italy. Like, look at that. Italy is now partially down here. <laughs> but, have I already... I've already got an alliance through marriage, so I don't really need that. So, you have a truce now with them, so... That should be good. I gotta see what wars we can do. Victory! Dismiss. Um, decisions, yeah, seclusion. Not really worried about that. There is something here. What is it? A new potential alliance. Would Count Liebert. Why are you showing me this? There's no way to have an alliance with this. You talking about marrying his son to somebody? Alliance? I guess that... I wonder if that's what it means when it shows stuff like that. That, oh, he's got an heir that you could technically secure an alliance with, but... His liege is you, which is... Yeah, that's that guy. That's that West Francia thing, or, or, or East Francia thing that was going on. Yeah, because you're a de jure part of the Empire of Germania, Germania, which, by the way, this is what we want. Eventually, with empire-wise, after the HRE is formed, we might want to make the actual Empire of Germania, too. Don't know. We'll see how that roleplay train ends up happening when that happens. I want to see what choices it gives West Francia instead of this East Francia once we win that. If we continue this. I'll let y'all vote when we do the next episode. Whether we decide to continue Guardians of In Intrigue as West Francia trying to be alter history and become the true HRE. Or do we start England 
and make a coven of witches and try to turn the entire try my did my crazy goal for this is to literally create a new belief slash religion of witches and all across England Ireland and Scotland and if I can do this and then eventually install it into the papacy <laughs> so yes turn the Pope into a witch that is our goal <laughs> That would be if we do England or any of the English empires or I should say Britannian empires. So we don't have to start as England. We could start as Ireland, become Ireland and do it. We could do it with Scotland. We could do it with uh, what Wessex and become England or any of these and become England. We could do it from Britannia. No helmeters are banned from the capital. <laughs> no helmeters are banned from the capital. Tim King, should I have warned him how Normandy was formed? No, I'd be uh, well, probably considering what might happen. But to be fair, I don't expect any of the normal stuff to happen when I start doing what I'm about to do. You're about to see this whole place go insane. Like, the HRE actually does tend to form really fast now with all the DLCs and all the choices the computers can make. This actually does tend to end up becoming a thing, and this ends up being its own thing separately for most of the game. It ends up becoming proper France and Frankia, yeah, just France. Because it's, if I click this, it goes, then you, Empire of Frankia, yeah. yeah. Which that would be this. So this is how you see what it is. This is what all the empires technically can become. It, as a choice. Now it doesn't mean that any of these empires here. Come from the specific house. Any of the people that are from that culture. Or hell. Technically even Hispania. The empire of Hispania. Can technically absorb Francia. And vice versa. As we could do with Germany here become German Germania because the way the game works now with all the DLCs you can actually in absorb another empire and merge two together you can only do it with two of them so Francia and Germania or you can do it with all the ones that are linked together so all three of these can become Germania if you really wanted to it's really insane there's ways to do all kinds of stuff in this game Things that you would not even, like, be like, you'd be like, how the hell? There's even empires that are hidden in this game that only are born if you do certain things. That are normally not a normal empire. Actually, I want to go back into that real quick because I want to look at something to the south for my own fun enjoyment. That's not what I wanted. I want that. 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 Does Egypt have one in this? It'd be the Abbasids. The Abyssinians. So Egypt is this. But it doesn't exist yet because it's not a thing. I wonder if that's one of the hidden ones. Like I said, there are hidden ones you can unlock that are more modern empires. But they require you to have every single hidden, hidden thing under it. It gives you a choice to form new versions. Do a bunch of kingdoms. There's the kingdom of Israel. There's a ton of stuff. There's so much stuff you can do in this game. The Vikings kicked kick the French the kicked the French butt, and the French gave them land, and they became Normans. Right. That actually happened in uh, the Lions playthrough, as he's doing the Kingdom of Heaven in his playthrough. Big shout out to his channel. If you know who I'm talking about, the, the Lion of the Heart. <laughs> um, he's playing the Kingdom of Heaven kind of playthroughs set up, and he started up here. Now, he started as this. He didn't actually start as, uh, now, we're in the wrong timeline. It's not Edelthird here. Um, it's Alfred? Is Alfred even out here? I don't think he is in this timeline. He's not. So it's during the timeline, unless that's Alfred. No, that's Highwall. 
But yeah, it's during the timeline when Alfred holds this. Um, and over here is separated. Like, South uh, uh, Sussex and all that, and all of these, are all separated. And he ended up forming this as its own duchy and ended up fighting against Alfred for, for control of England. And control of all of uh, all of this, because theirs is, yeah, the petty kingdom of Wessex. He got that first. Then it goes into the kingdom, yeah. So uh, then it goes into the kingdom of England, which is that. It's all of this plus Wales. Um, you can technically absorb Wales into this. Um, and then that's the Empire of Britannia. This is what I mean by when you see empires, is because they become the mainline empire itself, so. But yeah, Britannia can be formed by any of these sides. Game's good in that way, it's, I do love it. Let's see who my choices are down here. I'm trying to find one that I want to start from that would be really interesting for my own playthrough. I do want to form a somewhat of my own Egypt, but different. And where's the Nile? The Nile's right here, right? So it's mostly right here. It'd be mostly these. They're technically now, once again, a part as a whole of... The Abyssid Empire, yeah. So there's two of them. There's the Abyssinia. I probably said that wrong. And the Abyssid. Okay. Reform the Roman Empire and make people wear pants! We could do that. <laughs> Like I said, there's some hidden ones in here, too. There's some hidden ones in here. I'm pretty sure that's one of them. Like, not just Holy Roman Empire. I actually do think you can restore the Roman Empire. Like, the original. <laughs> Is it under yours? No, that's Empire of Italia. So, yeah, just that. It's something to do with a greater thing. Like I said... It has to, a lot of them are either multiple kingdoms to form the hidden one or multiple empires that make up that situation to form it. So whatever Rome was originally is probably what you need. You kind of have to somewhat know that. Like you have to know at least a little, not like be an expert, but you have to know at least some political geography from history. In order to kind of know what the secret the secret ones are. Like you have to know, oh, well what did this before this was dissolved, what all territories did it hold? And if you can figure out who that is for this timeline, you can uh basically reform it with all the others. Like you can imagine who it probably is, but <laughs> Or at least who's part of it. Actually, do they get to see that? Can you see it from yours? Because I know you can probably do it. Not really. You yeah, see, this one, it might actually be you. Because you don't, you start as an empire. But you end up breaking up, don't you? Yeah, because the Byzantines end up getting ripped apart. So you might be the one that's part of the requisite and somewhere around this way. I can't remember which direction. Rome was so big <laughs> at the time when it was established at full power. It shit goes pretty far, so. Abbasid, Caliphate, not Empire, and I think you need the Byzantines to form Rome. I think you do. I know it's Byzantine for sure. And I do think it's Abbasid and someone, maybe a few of these. I can't remember exactly. I don't want to say it and look like a dumb dumb because I don't remember all of them. <laughs> I think it's these two for sure. I know you. You are not as so certain. I, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, geography-wise, this meant this is 
This would have been east room? Western room? I don't remember. Once again, I don't want to say it looked like a dumb idiot. Because <laughs> I don't remember. It's been too long. But I definitely know I think you need Byzantine Empire or one of the other original ones conquered by Rome in order to get it. To get access to it. But then you have to basically do what Rome did and you gotta conquer all the others that are a part of it. Or alliance or whatever. Like the, the, the king, the crusader king way of getting them absorbed in. Once you absorb them in, you, I'm pretty sure you get the option popped up in your decision. Where it'll become a special option that's like, here, you see this? Orders who aren't religious can't do this. Who don't have holy orders, who can do crusades, they can't do this. So this is an example of a decision that can be created through a certain choice or empire or type. And things like that. It, like, request claim on Ireland, restore, Z, restore the Carolingian borders. You can do all kinds of stuff to kind of like and there's even more down here sometimes eventually like yeah embrace celibacy that's just for your character alone if you're just because we're holy we're a holy order follower we can just say I don't want to have kids anymore I embrace being a being a priest <laughs> but stuff like that <laughs> Are not the Byzantine Empire is the east. So I was right. So you're east. Okay, I was okay. So yeah, east, west, right? Or am I wrong about that? So east, west, originally. I think. I, I kind of figured this was east because the only reason why I know Byzantine is one of them is the obvious color that this has. A certain somebody also had this color. A certain eastern empire of the Romans. <laughs> the one I like. Because <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> Anyways, that is, that's what I figured, but I wasn't sure. You need southern England, France, Italy, Spain, North Africa. Ah, part of Egypt. Egypt, Syria. Okay, yeah, so you need a lot of them. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure it's a thing. <laughs> but you hear how many you have to have. You either have to be allied with those empires or have those empires a part of you in different ways. There's different ways to subjugate this in different ways, too, in this game. And to maximize or... Because depending on your choices, because you can only, I think, merge certain a certain amount. So after you run out of that, you, you use it through marriages or marrying in and getting heirs to claim to titles, things like that. Um, and then you'll end up being able to reform the original, the original faction, original kingdom or empire. So cool. This game is so much to it for it being just menus. Like really, this isn't for anyone who's I just want to give a head a heads up warning. If you're not into this type of thing, this probably will be kind of boring to watch other than the funny things that will happen to our characters once we fully do a full playthrough and we actually sit down for like three to four hours and I'm paused because I am keeping it paused right now just because we're learning and kind of showing the game off right now. But. So. Holy Roman Empire is just a German knockoff. And they know it. <laughs> That's terrible. It is true, but that is terrible. <laughs> it is very true, though. But let's save it. Because I think this is a good spot to save it. And it's already almost 11. And I want... Oops, that's not the right button. I wanted to start earlier, but... Just didn't work out that way. I'm going to save this just in case you guys decide you want to go through this again. I'm going to change the date. Instead of it having a date on the back of it, we're going to do the name of the series. So this way I know that this is for that one.
guardians. Oh, no, no spaces. Okay, so we have to do dashes or underscores. Guardians of Intrigue. Oops. Guardians of Intrigue. Because that's my, that's my, uh, Irish playthrough right there. Uh, boom. I'll probably start over my Irish playthrough. Look at that beautiful family. Is my son a dwarf? I never looked at that. Why is he so short? <laughs> man, or I'm really tall. Charles the Bald is either a super tall man or his son is a dwarf. <laughs> well, I guess maybe that would mean his wife's a dwarf. It's got to be that I'm just a mad tall dude. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mad tall lad. <laughs> Rome is mother to us all. Too bad corruption and uh, inflation tore that empire to shreds. <laughs> I blame I blame Seal for that. And Seal, Seal, the Seal is usually responsible. Also, I want you to hear that sentence out loud and be a little bit nervous about that sentence. They're the mother of us all, the apex of the center of the world, the one everyone pays attention to. But corruption and inflation tore it to shreds. Huh, that sounds sadly familiar somehow. I'm not sure why. Huh. <laughs> not sure why. <laughs> We're not gonna touch on that, but y'all probably know what I mean, especially if you live there or live here, I guess I should say. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but I hope y'all all enjoyed watching this. Seriously, Crusader Kings Three is one of my favorite off-camera games, just because of how silly it is and how serious it is. It's it. I don't understand how a game can be so hardcore, but at the same time so insane. And when I mean by insane, like crazy levels of insane, like when your jester tries to assassinate you kind of levels of what just happened <laughs> or or somehow your daughter ends up in the kingdom of a dwarf man whose mother is a giant that that can happen <laughs> and so Big shout out to Tam King and, of course, my moderator, Foss, here, making sure that the lines of West Francia are a lot stronger this time than they were last time. And make sure we have plenty of emergency airs so we may defeat our enemy of East Francia this time and be the true reformer of the HRE. Or maybe even history will decide something different and we will become something even greater. Who knows? Only fate shall see in our future of the kingdom. <laughs> but anyways, or we may end up in, in events changing back towards the England side of things, whether it be Irish, Scottish, or English. But no matter who that one ends up being, they're all going to end up being in a coven of witches. Because <laughs> that just sounds funny to me. And I've always wanted to see, is it possible with as much holy order and piousness the papacy has in this game, can I turn the Pope into a witch is the, is the question. We're going to find out eventually in one of our playthroughs. <laughs> but either way, <laughs> this is why they didn't like us witches. This is why they burned us. <laughs> Anyways. Eastern Rome tried to save it. Keyword tried. <laughs> and they did try. <laughs> tried. <laughs> but anyways. 
I hope y'all enjoyed. I know it was a late one tonight, so I've, I figured probably a lot of people are also falling asleep now. So you probably didn't get to catch the end of the stream. But if you do get to see the end, I hope y'all all enjoyed some Crusader Kings. We'll be doing some more of this during uh, Simulator Theme Week. We're, we might do the country one, the one that's about countries during a certain world war. We might do that one, but I don't know if we'll do it this go-around of themes. Depends on what happens next week and how much we get done with ATS. Or not next week. What happens this week and how much we get done with ATS. Because we'll get more... Uh, if we get an ATS... If we get at least two trucks done with ATS this week out of uh, the people in the Guardian Corps, then we'll probably add in the World War II simulator side of this type of game. It's not as intrigued based and the events are not as exciting. They're still a little bit more locked into history. There's things you can change. You can still alter history and completely go a different route, but the routes are linear, meaning each route has its own specific choice. Whether you take, like, I'll say for, for some reason if Japan decided to actually try to beat Russia in a certain fight a long time ago. <laughs> that kind of thing. But otherwise, other than that, that's a lot more linear than this game is. This game, you can kind of do what you want and end up all kinds of places. Whereas that one's a little bit more straightforward. So We'll see, though. Okay, time to give Arna another scary coincidence. Another thing that led to Roman's death was the massive size of their army. Ah. <laughs> ah. Well, I mean, I kind of knew that. That's that's a thing with any military. But, yeah, that is a good point, too. So big that it didn't see things on the inside happening, huh? You know, Trojan horses and the like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Well, anyways... It got too expensive to maintain. Dumb emperors kept increasing them beyond sustainable levels, and nobles were not paying. Yep, that sounds familiar. <laughs> huh? Where have I heard this before? I can't, can't put my, can't put my toe on it. Anyways, peace and love. Peace and love to Farseer as she digs the dagger real deep. <laughs> Intrigue level twenty-five. <laughs> Hell, maybe even 30 with that one. But, um, <laughs> but peace and love and big shout out to Farseer, uh, my moderator in chat. And also, big shout out to Chronic Gaming for joining up tonight to check out the, the stimul si God. simulator theme week, if I can speak. And big shout out to Tam King for joining in chat tonight. And also, Wizard, big hello to Wizard. Didn't see you join in earlier, Wizard. That is my bad, bro. Sorry about that. Big shout out to Wizard's channel. Show him some love. He's a cool dude. And, uh, he helps out the channel as well. Uh, and also, as always, Mad Lad shout out. Or a mad shout out to the Lad James himself. <laughs> to Lord James, but it's not Mad Lord James, it's Mad Lad James. So, to the Mad Lad James himself, big shout out. Show his channel some love as well. He was way too tired to stream today. So he's probably going to be streaming something of his own so he can catch up on his single player stuff tomorrow. So I have a simulator I'm going to surprise him with with multiplayer this week. That's also why I'm not sure when the World War II thing is going to happen. We are doing ATS tomorrow though. American Truck Simulator is tomorrow. I have enough money for Truck 1, which is uh, Tam King's truck first. The second one after that, we'll go back and fix our Walmart truck, make it overpowered as hell. That will be Farseer's truck for her to design. And then the third and fourth truck will happen together, which is why they'll probably won't be till next time. Simulator go around. So, but tomorrow is Tam King's truck. And then depending on how good we do with that tomorrow, the day after that is when I'm going to see if James wants to do another co-op but on a very special game. But I have to beat the story first, so I'm gonna see if I can beat the story really quickly. If not, it'll have to wait till later that week when he gets another day off, so. 
either way. Big shout out to everyone. Thank you so much. Peace and love, everyone. I hope to see you in tomorrow's stream as we enter the prime, prime time of trucking of our lives. And we shall embrace, embrace, embracing our rolling attitudes. <laughs> but peace and love, everyone. And I hope to see you to roll out tomorrow, everyone. Peace and love, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Fossil, Tim King, Chronic, and Wizard. Bye.